humor has gone to shit. You thought Among Us and Uncanny Mr. Incredible was the peak of unfunny. Well, too bad. YouTube Shorts, TikTok, Instagram Reels, and every other short video application has been infested by the same disease, one of the worst of its kind, known as Gen Z Humor. The first suspect, Chad, being a term from the 1990s, no one knew that it originated in Chicago. That's why no one knew. Evolving into memes like the Virgin Village Chad, Yes Chad, and most importantly, Giga Chad, a meme that should have died four years ago, is still going on and annoying and rejoicing the faces of many. For every clip, they may be one making a chat face, whether it be racist, homophobic, or wholesome. That repeat men will always be there for the 14 year olds. The chat virus is real and you can't run from it. Okay, I, honestly, I think this meme is shit. It was fine years ago when chat was actually fine and kinda confined to 4chan only. You know, we should never bring something from 4chan. The meme is uh, just annoying. People are doing it to get easy attention and you know, it's not because they can't do the chat with. I still hated the meme even 3 years ago and I'm still not gonna change my mind, I hate it. Then the related suspect of Sigma, a perfectly fine Greek alphabet has now been reduced to the tiers of Based and Chad. It's basically the same thing as Chad but caste system. Now what is this Chad be the Chad for? Now that question brings us to our next suspect, Racism, featuring this old man. Emoji. Of course, black and Asian people make jokes on themselves by stereotyping the hell out of everything in their life. Everything is just slavery, child abuse, and other stuff that I'm not even allowed to be offended about because it's unfunny. And then there's the old man invading every comment section of the earth. Every black joke to say the N word and support racism. Yeah! Third suspect. The American state of Ohio. We all know what happens in Ohio. As they say, eternal damnation haunts everyone there. It is at the fabled place of Ohio, where a city named after Family Guy has been invaded by aliens, dinosaurs, and creatures alike. This is the history of Ohio and how it is the most shitty meme on here. I'm just glad everyone hates this meme now because the 12 year olds can't stop making only in Ohio and swag like Ohio jokes. So I think we should just destroy Ohio and pretend it was never there like uh, Wisconsin or right. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing right, Wisconsin. You've heard about it. We should move on to other states like uh, Oklahoma, I think that's pretty similar. I think. Fuck this. Anything out of the ordinary is just named as Ohio now. I hate everything. Now, before the last suspect, I would like to present some sub suspects which might have also contributed to the downfall of this humor. I scoured many sub suspects, but here are the best ones and the ones which I can actually talk a bit about. And I have some sub suspect one woman, also known as misogyny or something I don't know. Which also means it is a branch of Chad. This meme originated due to a perfectly fine great TF2 meme. But now more people know of this meme from that video than TF2. Which means that whenever see they see a TF2 character, they'll definitely be going woman. And which is literally the death of our society. The come on woman, I think. Bland boring meme. Just move on. Second sub suspect, The Boys, a Netflix show combined with a perfectly fine Imagine Dragon song, has been taken over by 12 year olds to have be another branch of Chad. At first, it started like the Sigma and Chadding, but then it, when the real 12 year olds got the hold of it, they took it too literally, and so they are, are now girls versus boys memes again in 2018. Grand, right? I still hate Homelander though. I haven't watched this at all. Sub suspect number three K6. 
memes are fucking in the ass, balls and cock are all over the place now and are planned punchline for boring videos just to add that topping to have a 12 year old laugh at that video. I liked it when we had the power over gay sex memes with Thug Hunter and Ambatu Kam. What is this boring coitus of men? I demand my Thug Hunter subscription be renewed. I do not watch black people though, you know, just to clear it up. Now for the last suspect we have it a little bit spicy. The goofy R. Whether you be hitting the gritty on that battle bus or just being your autistic ADHD self like me, it's all goofing in the eyes of these NPCs. These goofy are quandial dingles have nothing against the goofiest Ohioist are of all time. My Kumalala and Savestas are exceeding and my silliness cannot be controlled. All of the pure garbage I just spitted now was all the goofy are uh, NPCs so as they call it a term we like goofy as ever due to the clunky code of theirs. That's one way to hit the gritty one said and then I said I can't be goofy like these and funny people right now no ADHD autism yeah. <laughs> also yeah I've not actually been actually diagnosed for these diseases but I do have a lot of symptoms but like nowadays everyone's on like Twitter every like like this I guess so I guess I'm not that goofy after all. Collecting all these suspects, I have decided to arrest all of them, seeing how they all unknowingly contributed to support each other's for this collapse of humor. They can all be put to jail for life. Every child's mind has been changed to be using such mouth words in everyday IRL speech, which is honestly, I'm not gonna say it. Don't make me say it. It's a very dead word. You don't wanna see me say it. Don't make me say it. Everyone would it be at risk if I said it. Okay, here goes an base. All of this is just cringe. But not every jail cell is secure, is it?